This week marks a somber anniversary for a crime that has haunted St. Louis City homicide detectives for generations. This week's break in the decades old cold case known as Valentine Sally renews hope for local investigators working on a case known as Baby Jane Doe. Tonight, the I team's Christine By Byers brings us the latest in the quest to identify this little girl believed to be between 8 and 12 years old. Along Clemens Avenue in North St. Louis, things are pretty quiet these days. But retired homicide detective Joe Burgoon remembers a much different scene 38 years ago. In some cases, they, they stick with you. Two guys had a car breakdown in this neighborhood on February 28, 1983. They went into the basement of a vacant apartment building, hoping to find a pipe to help them fix their car. When they flicked on their cigarette lighter, what they found that day ignited one of the most gruesome and coldest cases St. Louis detectives have ever seen. She was in a, uh, the furnace room. You know, it was real dark in there, and uh, it was damp, cold and damp, you know, and we saw the, saw the victim laying there. She was laying face down. They found the body of a little girl, her hands tied behind her back with a red and white nylon rope. She was wearing only a yellow V-neck sweater. Her head was severed and never found. We didn't know she was really a child until they turned her over, you know. We thought she was a woman. Figured it, was, it had to be a, somebody reported missing. But no one did. The identity of baby Jane Doe remains a mystery, and so does the identity of her killer. This was a brutal crime. You don't know what you know you don't know what she went through. And even though investigators have changed through the years, the St. Louis Police Department hasn't forgotten the case. In 2019, the department formed a cold case unit that answers to Major Sean Dace. Baby Jane Doe's case is among their top priorities. We felt like maybe with new technology, it could create some some new evidence or some new leads uh, to help solve some of uh, some of those cases. Those advancements in technology include sites like Ancestry.com, 23andMe, and GEDmatch, private databases where people go to trace their roots. The technique has led to breaks in high-profile cases like Valentine Sally just this month. Any of those cases give us hope. So why hasn't that technology helped solve this murder? We ruled out uh, at least 20 uh, children uh, that we are sure is not uh, our baby Jane Doe. And even though the years drag on with no leads. Nobody's more frustrated than we are um, about this. The detective who was first on the scene that day remains hopeful. Someday we're going to find out who she is. It's just a tragedy. Christine Byers, five on your side. If you have any information about this case, please call St. Louis Police. They're at, or St. Louis Police are asking you to please call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. Callers can remain anonymous. And you can read more about baby Jane Doe's remains and how they were recently exhumed for further DNA testing. You can read Christine's full report on KSDK.com.